took care of Gong Sun Zan, but now Yuan Shao is afraid of him and wants me dead. So my officers and I got out of there and joined up with Liu Bei and Sha Pi. But Liu Bei is a pretty poor ruler, so I went and stole his castle. That made him mad, so he called on Cao Cao to help him come and take it back. It looks like they got some stupid plan to use a river against me. Ha! <laughs> Let them try. What good is strategy gonna do them when my blade comes down on their necks? Their army. It's filled with officers of talent and valor. Lu Bu. Do you think that we could really defeat them? Doesn't matter. Their numbers make no difference. By opposing me, they are marching to their own slaughter! The river is flowing into the castle? Everybody, get to higher ground! We'll drown if we stay here! Alright, quit messing around! These wars have completely destroyed the life you once knew. Yao Chan, are you bitter towards me? No, it's okay. The chaos, destiny, war. There was no escaping it. I have no regrets. You and I were meant to walk this path together. Yao Chan. I want you watching over. Until the very end. It's too dangerous to head out. We'll outlast them if we stay within the castle. Yuan Xu's army is coming to assist us! Hang in there just a little bit longer. Help will arrive any moment now. No! Our escape route has been flooded! The enemy is all around us! We need help! This looks like a job for Zhang Liao. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Thanks to you, we can get through this. I fear no man. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? It's over already. Can 
anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can fight. Provide me with a decent challenge! Lubu! Your end is near. That's supposed to be a threat, swine! We're done for! Save me! I'm not gonna last much longer! Now the castle is bound to fall! All units attack! Reinforcements! Thank heaven! Must protect the base for the sake of the reinforcements. You've no chance against my blade of virtue.
Anybody provide me with a decent challenge? <laughs> with Lu Bu on our side, we can't lose! Don't underestimate me. We must hold out. Damn it. It's over already. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? My lord, Yuan Xu's army is headed this way. Off much longer. Your treachery shall not go unpunished. Unfulfilled. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? It's over already. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Somebody provide me with a decent challenge! Now's the chance! Crush them all! You should be grateful for our help! Finish them off! Speed is of the essence! Follow me! Better run, you stupid beasts, because hunting season is now open.
Time to end this battle! Everything I've got! You are nothing but a nuisance to noble men. I do as I please. Everyone else can die for all I care. Get lost, you scum. Give it up. Is my ambition not enough to conquer the land? Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I have defeated the villain Cow Cow and brushed aside his cowardly water attack. Neither troops nor pathetic plots can overcome my might. Dong Zhuo, Cow Cow. All that have stood against me have perished. None can oppose my might. Are there any left willing to face me? Anyone at all? A new bodyguard. This bodyguard... It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Lu Bu, from the land of Wu Yuan. An incredible warrior, he was feared and was likened to that of a war god on the battlefield. It is said the mere mention of his name could make even the most seasoned officer tremble. Dong Zhuo, wanting to take over the capital, employed Lu Bu to aid him in his endeavor. With Lu Bu at his side, Dong Zhuo was able to spread his tyranny throughout the land. At the zenith of Dong Zhuo's reign, a beautiful dancer by the name of Diao Chan appeared at court. Lu Bu and Dong Zhuo's relationship deteriorated as both of them vied for her affections. Lu Bu killed Dong Zhuo for Diao Chan. Afterwards, he served Yuan Shao, but was quickly released. He became a vagabond, wandering the land. Everyone knew of his treachery, and not a single person trusted him. He finally ended his life as a wanderer when he seized Sha Pi Castle from Liu Bei, angered. Liu Bei allied with Cao Cao and desperately fought to win back his castle. However, their combined efforts failed in the face of the mighty Lu Bu. Despite this incredible victory, he still had a feeling of emptiness inside him, for now he was truly alone. 
However, he would not allow his despair to overcome him. Together with his steed, Red Hare, he rode off in search of what new challenges might await him. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Pathetic. Not even one person could match my power. I must keep searching until I find a challenge! <laughs> <laughs> 